this is Mivako. Welcome back to my channel. Or should I say, welcome to my mini garden. Today I'm going to be doing a different type of video. Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of my mini garden. You see, it's not perfect, but I'm a little bit proud of it. Well, I am quite proud because I have grown few vegetables since I started gardening around one year ago. There's a huge curve to learn, but I'm learning little by little every single day. I spend a lot of hours out here, not necessarily doing stuff, but I just like to be around, you know, my plants. I like to see the small insects, the bees, the wasps. <laughs> I have seen so many little creatures and I really, really like that. It's very interesting to see and listen to nature you know outside instead of staying in my room all day it feels so different and i feel in peace this is the first time that i've been so close to nature i always live in an apartment i did not have places to go out so having my own place and finally being able to grow my own stuff in my own place it's very amazing and very exciting honestly every single day <laughs> even if i find like small disease or pest you know it's something new that i can um see every day even though sometimes i get a little bit like <laughs> stressed but it's something new every single day so yeah i'm going to be painting my house i have plans on painting it pink i'm still undecided what i'm gonna do if i should paint the whole house in pink which i know that a lot of you will be like yeah <laughs> I am going to be adding accessories or pink furnitures, um, you know, a, a lot of very pastel stuff. So I'm very excited for that. That's going to make my whole area look so nice. At the moment, I'm only growing in containers because my soil is not good at all. And I also don't have a fence. I would like to own gardening beds because uh, I always dream of having a very cute, cozy, like tiny farm. But at the moment, I don't want to do that because I would like to have my whole area closed. You know, I don't want to put my stuff so people can see very well. I mean, it's not like... <laughs> right now it makes a huge difference but you know what i mean <laughs> where i want to put my my race beds is basically where i'm going to be mulching on this video which right now is completely exposed to everything and i don't like that uh, this house when i got it it was full of grass it was very insane i had to cut my lawn every single week because we got a lot of invasive plants so we decided to use cardboard to suppress the grass and then use mulching that's why you see right now <laughs> even though my mini garden is not as pretty as i wanted it to be trust me i made a huge process compared to how we looked before all of this mulching me and my boyfriend we did it all together but this whole area was completely full of grass that was as tall as three feet and it was very very hard to manage i even still have some spots with grass still growing up so i need to add more mulch to this area but yeah there's so many things to do but little by little i am not very patient but i'm really i'm really hopeful for my future garden i really want the best i want my area to look very very pretty i don't know if you are liking my video so far but let me know if you want to see more gardening vlogs or anything like that i'm really not used to this and you know it's not pretty all pink and cute yet so <laughs> i'm sorry for that but let me know if you want to see something else i wanted to just make a vlog uh, of me maybe just uh, planting or transplanting something a little bit different i don't know how long i can expand my gardening vlogs because you know it's a little bit the same and i am not like very i'm not a master of gardening so it's not like i can do a lot of <laughs> teaching so let me know what you think about any of this also thank you very much to the people who decided to watch this video it means a lot this is a very private 
video of mine i feel like i'm completely exposed like <laughs> literally i'm outside of my comfort zone uh aka my room which is my pink cave so this video is pretty pretty uh important to me because it's personal uh yeah this is my everyday gardening life <laughs> Also, I wanted to ask you if you have any idea of the things that I should add to my mini garden. If you do, you can also send me images or any links of articles to make a very cute and cozy garden on my Instagram. Don't forget to check all of the links of my social medias. You can contact me on Instagram. We should talk about it and we should plan <laughs> so far. Uh, I'm going all for pink. At first, I thought about going for a more of a shabby chic style which I like but I think that for that most of the things should be white which I feel like is so hard for me because I like lilacs, I like pinks, I like pastel blues so I feel like <laughs> it's going to be very hard to achieve that unless I keep the house white so guys what do you think about my plants do you want me to paint my house all pink or do you want me to keep it white with just small pink accent anything that you want to say don't forget to leave a comment below again let me know what do you think about this vlog if you enjoy it if you got bored or if you got any ideas or if you got inspired into making your mini garden Trust me, I started very, very small. My garden is still very, very small, but I really have high hopes into making it big, cute, cozy, and pink. <laughs> so thank you again, guys, for watching this video, and I hope to see you guys next time. Take care, my little huglets. Bye.